welcome to this video and before we continue uh, I would request you to kindly subscribe to this channel and also hit the, uh, the bell icon so that whenever we upload a new video you are notified. So today's video is about non-fungible tokens. These are new craze that is hitting the internet by storm. We are in 2021 and there is a massive explosion of the new concept called non-fungible tokens or NFTs. In this video, we are going to explain what they are as well as how they are used. For most of us, NFTs are just like uh, some form of magical crap to techy thing that does not make sense. But if you have been keenly following the crypto space, you may have come across the term and wondered what it's all about. You may have also heard of rare and expensive NFTs that has been sold and wondered how a collage of 5,000 paintings could sell at $69 million. It could also have been mind-boggling how the first tweet by the Twitter called founder would be worth a staggering $2.9 million. All these including many others such as Nyan Cut, digital arts, music, designer sneakers, videos among others are all non-fungible tokens, the current craze that is taking the world by storm. Although the term is relatively new, uh, it has found its way in the online dictionary. For example, in Miriam uh, website online dictionary, they have crafted a definition that provides a meaning uh, into this emerging technology. In their definition, they have officially described NFTs as unique identifiers that have three characteristics, which are it cannot be copied, it cannot be subdivided, or substituted and they have stated that it is based on blockchain technology. The description goes ahead and states the use of the digital tokens that is certification of ownership or authenticity of a specific digital asset and here digital assets means a version of online content such as paint, piece of painting, photo, video among others. So what are these NFTs? They are basically crypto tokens, just like any other token. However, these tokens are unique. They are non-fungible. Non-fungible means they cannot be duplicated, replicated, or replaced. While most of crypto tokens are fungible, like Bitcoin, they can be duplicated and replaced. For example, say you have one Bitcoin and you give to your friend. Do you think your friend will own his version of Bitcoin? No will have the exact same kind of Bitcoin as yours. This is not the case for NFTs. NFTs are unique to each other and every NFT token out there is different. Due to this, today, NFTs are being used to represent digital assets and collectibles such as original artwork, trading cards, music, videos, digital collectibles and anything which is digital. The reason why these tokens can represent digital assets is because of the way they are built. So how do they work? They are entirely based on blockchain technology, more specifically Ethereum blockchain. By being based upon this technology, we are able to trust the blockchain technology capabilities to hold additional information about their tokens. In the case of NFTs, we can hold data uh, like verification of ownership, history of uh, ownership, the prices, and so on. Due to this reason, people cannot freely trade NFTs tokens such as NFT token has an owner. It is the only person who can decide whether he wants to sell his token or keep it with him. This is what makes them unique as it gives the token a sense of reality, scarcity, uniqueness, and also sort of differentiated from the rest of their tokens and it is the art industry where such feature can be fully utilized where the owner of the artwork can be verified traced and cannot be replaced because of this someone buys an NFT uh, artwork he only becomes the new owner of the artwork but he cannot hold the title of becoming the original owner of the artwork so by artwork here is mean energy digital artwork that can use 
that users can buy from NFT marketplaces such as Rarible, OpenSea, and many others. However, this artwork is special because it's tokenized. By tokenized, we mean the person converts his artwork or painting into an N NFT, which is essentially uh, encrypting the data of the artwork within the blockchain technology where all the information about the work artwork is stored. From here, the person has now basically converted his artwork into NFT. And when he does, he also gets a token ID. All of this process is what we call minting. So NFT artworks can be listed in the marketplaces and can be listed for sale either for a fixed amount of price which is in the currency of ether or the NFT can be left for auction where collectors can bid on, on the work and whoever makes it to the highest price wins the auction and gets the NFT. So this is, this is where you hear of some crazy amount of money being uh, exchanged. Despite all those good things about NFTs, there are some downsides. One of the downsides is concerned with environmental uh, problem. With tangible objects like plastic taking too much of the blame for the climate change, it can be difficult to understand how a digital asset in, uh, impacts the planet. Still, NFT and the entire blockchain system play a critical role in all these climate crises. Most of the NFTs trade on Ethereum blockchain, which alongside Bitcoin is the most actively used blockchain in the crypto world. At the core of this uh, cryptocurrency idea, there is a uh, usage of uh, computers which are not your ordinary laptops, but something that is called the mining nodes that must continuously solve a complex puzzle to prevent blockchain takeover in a peer-to-peer -peer system which is called the proof of work. Bitcoin technology consumes 133.65 terahertz hours of electricity per year which is more than what is consumed in the entire country of Sweden. Of that, 40% comes from renewable energy sources, the rest come from uh, fossil fuels. And you know fossil fuels are uh, related with carbon production and the whole climate crisis so it is uh, it becomes a problem because of consumption or a lot of energy which mostly comes from non renewable sources another problem is the potential of money laundering so these paintings are used for money laundering as to store and swap around with nft they give an art dealer way more freedom Plants. But there has been an uh, association of uh, initial coin conference with scams and also cases of money order. So F NFTs could become a uh, problem. Also, there are cases of where people are stealing and turning other people work in NFTs. So the speculative mania, because of the lot of money that is involved, has produced new breed of opportunities who have taken to turning other people's work into NFTs through the process of tokenization. And these people are stealing other people's work and presenting at their own. So we have the original creators of these art suffering because their work has been stolen and uh, it becomes very hard to claim that this piece of work is yours. So there are also services specifically uh, set uh, where, pe where people can monetize other people's content. For example, you encourage to tokenize uh, your favorite tweet before it is taken by someone else, like what the Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey did, and he sold his tweet for $2.9 uh, million. So blockchain, uh, or these NFTs present a good case for people who are creative, the artists, the designers, the musicians to present their work in a manner that can be not be copied or replaced and this way they can earn money and also uh, enjoy their work. So